about the top five considerations when thinking about or doing, actually pulling the trigger on opening a fitness business. I think the first thing that I would say is if you're in the fitness business as a, a trainer, there isn't a necessity to open a gym. You don't have to do it. It doesn't make you a better trainer. Uh, and actually, you're probably gonna spend less time doing the fun stuff and more time doing the VAT returns and you know cleaning the floors. So you make sure that you are actually prepared to kind of go back to basics uh, and maybe not be doing all the glamorous stuff, but actually doing the tough stuff. So do you wanna be working on the business or in the business? It's only after a long time of running, running a, you know, a business where you can go from being on it to in it again. So make sure you kind of have your motivations right from the start or you're at least your uh, the clear picture of knowing the tough bits that you're gonna have to do uh, from the very start. When it comes down to it, um, so that's number one. Number two, um, when it comes down to actually planning, um, I think the number one thing, particularly if you're in London, uh, has got to be the location of your site. So in London, I think there needs to be two clear routes of travel. Uh, people buzz all around this city, uh, but in theory, if it's a little bit inconvenient or a little bit off the beaten track, um, you will struggle to get that regular trade. So two clear routes of, routes of travel in. Um, having said that, that obviously puts your uh, pressure on price up. So when you're in those more popular areas, your rent is going to be higher. So number three is uh, your business plan versus the cost out. I think a lot of people will underestimate uh, the overall costs. And I know uh, I've run reach for 12 years and had sites for eight years and things still surprise me. And there's still sneaky things where thousands of pounds disappear. Um, so have a very clear picture of your costs. Um, number four really comes down to uh, the site and what the training that you want to offer. So is it fit for purpose? And then have you got the invention uh, to solve problems? So the, when you're looking at a site in terms of the quality of the flooring, the concrete flooring, what flooring can you put on top of that? And then things like ceiling height. We've had to be really inventive around our sites. We wanted to have good locations, um, but therefore we've had to sometimes compromise on certain things with the building. We've had to go outside the box in terms of removing ceilings, um, putting steel runways down to give us more space. So can you solve problems? Uh, number five will be the quality and type of equipment you buy. So um, I've learned over the years, I've tried to in the past, uh, when potentially you've got some pressure on costs, that you've gone, I've got a little bit uh, on the, the cheaper end of the scale. And thus, after a short period of time, the kit has deteriorated quite quickly. Um, and I'm using some of the machinery uh, as an example. You know, there's a big range of price, say, on a, uh, an assault bike type of thing, an air fit bike. Uh, five or six different products on there, I would always go towards the premium end um, because that's going to last. And that also then when it comes to all the hardware. So for me, luckily enough, uh, worked with Jordan for a long time now and they would always be my uh, you know, number one choice in terms of the quality of the equipment that is going to last me a long time in terms of the kettlebells, the barbells, the dumbbells. So when I'm paying for that equipment, I know it's going to last a long time and I'm going to get good service from the guys. Um, in terms of the flooring, uh, I think it's an old adage that the flooring is key. Um, so spend your money wisely on flooring. Make sure you get it right. Again, luckily with Jordan, they've got a great fitting team. So uh, particularly with this new site here in Ellsfield, my stress levels were through the roof, but I knew that the guys from Jordan were going to turn up and get the job done. Uh, we've got a damn nice floor and we've got some damn nice kettlebells. So there's a whole myriad of things to think about right from the get-go in terms of your motivations, right through to where you're going to do it and how. Um, good luck and enjoy the journey.